A few butterflies have larvae that cause problems for our crops, but most of them feed on native plants, and ecologically they're extremely important for biodiversity. The first butterfly we'll talk about is the alfalfa butterfly, also known as the orange sulfur butterfly. This can probably be known as the most common across the state of Nebraska, found in all 93 counties. The males have a bright orange wing, both the forward and back, with some burnt orange tips on all four wings. There's also a prominent dot in the forward section of the front wings when viewed from above. These, as larvae, feed on legumes, so they're also found in agriculture, feeding on alfalfa and some soybeans, but they can also feed on natural legumes, such as lead plants throughout our prairie. The adults will nectar on, meaning they will visit, native marigolds, coneflowers, asters, sunflowers, and even thistles. The Red Admiral, known as the Fancy Flyer, fluttering around erratically and rapidly throughout the prairie, can be seen from time to time. Extremely hard to catch. This is the one that the children run after for hours and never catch up with. It is black with reddish bands across the rear edges of the wings, as well as the rear edge of the hind wings. They also have a few spots along the tips of the wings that may be white. The larvae will feed on nettles, all types of stinging nettles and nettle type plant materials. The adults will pass up flowers, feeding on things such as sap, fermenting fruit on the ground, and even bird droppings. So look for this fast, unusual butterfly on your acreage. There are several greater fritteraries around Nebraska. The Great Spangled Fritterary is noted by having an orange with a lot of black patterns, almost some arrowheads on the base of the wings with a small margin of white. These float around many flowers in the garden on the acreage and they'll be found around violets because they lay their eggs in the fall near the violets and the caterpillars will feed on the leaves of the violets. These are the ones that are noted to be close to the ground, in and out of the sun, around the flowers from time to time. So enjoy them and look at them. There's several different types and they're a fairly large butterfly. The Cecropia moth. Not a true butterfly, but a moth. So primarily found nocturnally or early in the morning or at dusk. This beautiful moth is known to frequent apple trees and other fruit trees. They are a dark color with three to four different sets of eye spots, kind of big commas, on the wings. They're one of our largest butterfly skippers or moths found in the state of Nebraska with a wingspan well over six inches from tip to tip. Their larvae are big and green with little spikes all over them and can be seen on maple trees, and apple trees. So look for this giant moth flying around your acreage, especially in the summer. If you want more information on butterflies, refer to University of Nebraska's Department of Entomology or their website, Butterflies of Nebraska. This has been Dennis Ferraro, Extension Educator with the University of Nebraska. Thank you and enjoy your butterflies.